For those of you who have had enough of playing as a humanoid hero in your games and long for something more mm, fleshy, more animal-like, or just loaded up with a few more limbs, you've come to the right place. Of course, humans are great and all, but why settle for normalcy when there's a whole world out there dedicated to offering up the most bizarre creatures you can imagine? And heck, even quite a few that you can. I'm Rage from What Culture Gaming, and these are the 10 weirdest playable video game characters. 10. Cat Riding a Unicorn Trials Awesome Level Max Motorcycles, huh? They're the classic image of cool. The Terminator rides one, biker gangs are a thing, Ghost Rider is big on his two-wheeled transport, but they just don't quite cut the mustard anymore when it comes to the truly ice-cold coolness in the world of gaming. Cue a gun-toting cat on the back of a demonic-looking unicorn. Unsurprisingly, it's quite the sight to behold, swapping out simple biking tricks for flame-breathing mythical creatures and Garfield clinging on for dear life. You'll have to download Trials Fusion's DLC in the form of Awesome Level Max to get your hands on it, but by God is it a worthy investment. 9. Abe. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. The clue is in the title. Oddworld is certainly a wee bit odd. Abe's Odyssey stars Abe, funnily enough, and this weird looking fellow is a Madokan, a race of slaves with bluey green skin. The Madokans are peaceful creatures and spiritual, and for centuries they were the dominant race around Oddworld. Although humanoid in general, at times Abe resembles more of a turtle, with big bug eyes and flipper-like hands. Apparently though they evolved from birds, which explains their agility, frail bone structure and feathery hair. As if that wasn't weird enough, these little guys have the ability to change their skin colour to reflect their current mood. Angry Madokans turn red, excited ones turn green, and when depressed they turn blue. Adorable! Kinda. 8. Meat Boy Super Meat Boy Super Meat Boy is exactly what it says on the tin. A real super, real meaty, real boy boy. I guess that doesn't clear much up, but it translates to playing as a big red square with teeth, leaving gloopy blood trails behind you as you traverse the land looking for your girlfriend, Bandage Girl, who's been kidnapped and trapped by the evil Dr. Fetus. This little fella is cute enough for a little cube of meat, with the challenging platformer gameplay as weird as it is wonderful. Whilst it might be fun playing as the strange everyday items on this list, this one's a winner for its bonkers originality as it's not every day that you get to play as a scrappy bit of flesh with a whole lot of love to give. 7. A Perverted Mosquito Mr. Mosquito Mr. Mosquito plays exactly as the title suggests. The aim of the game is to suck blood from the Yamada family as they go about their daily home lives. You've got to store enough of that sweet red juice for the winter, and you ain't picky about where you're getting it from, meaning you'll have to attack certain body parts for that premium suck. Of course there's a level involving harvesting blood from a girl in the bathtub, because why not? You can also follow her and her parents around to your heart's content unless they spot you and engage in battle mode to swap the ever-living crap out of your tiny mosquito body. A simulator for Pervin as well as getting your suck on, Mr. Mosquito is a strange little game with a strange little guy at its centre. 6. Pilgar the Goat Goat Simulator Does this one really need any introduction? Goat Simulator is the strangely enthralling sim game where you live out the life of a goat, prancing, leaping and bashing to your heart's content, as well as dishing out a good old dose of licking at any available opportunity. Set in your average suburban neighbourhood, finding small golden statues allows you to pimp out your goat in a load of fabulous ways should you fancy a deviation from normie life. From being full Black Philip demon goat to getting yourself a little goaty jetpack so you can blast your way across the world. Of course, because it wouldn't be true goat life without it, you can become the queen of all goats and order minions to drop out of the sky on command. Goat simulator, guys. 5. A Pomeranian Dog Tokyo Jungle Tokyo Jungle is an action survival game set in the iconic titular Japanese city in a post-apocalyptic time where humans have long left the earth. The player takes control of various animal inhabitants around the city and fulfills the simple task of trying to find enough food, water and shelter to survive. After running out of pet food, a Pomeranian has to take to the streets and learn how to fend for himself in this wild new reality. The surreal feeling of running around Tokyo as a little lapdog who can potentially grow strong enough to kill and eat lions, tigers and bears, oh my, is absolutely bonkers. Furthermore, the more you progress through the modes, the more playable animals you can unlock. 
meaning that you can play through survival mode as a chicken, an ostrich, a giraffe, and even dinosaurs. Four, unicycles, Unirally. Nintendo released SNES Classic Unirally or Uniracers to our bros across the pond as a way of showing off the console's capacity for fast moving action. Because racing games with cars are just way too mainstream, Unirally focused on racing riderless unicycles around 2D tracks, riddled with loop-de-loops, boost pads, sticky pink goo, and most terrifying of all, the anti-uni. There are 16 playable unicycles to choose from, each a different colour and able to have a custom name. These little unicycles could perform flips and tricks and reacted to winning and losing with real emotions, dancing, falling over or relaxing after a tough race, seemingly out of breath. 3. Boy. Nobi Nobi Boy. This is... Boy. He's a... Uh, well, he's not a boy, he's... A worm? A multicolored, kinda quadrupedal, stretchy boy. Nobi Nobi Boy is a weird therapeutic sandbox game that lets you take advantage of this strange creature's genetic mix up and stretch him around various planets for no reason in particular. Earning points for just how much you can stretch, reporting your mega length to the sun adds up cumulatively across all characters to make another weird beastie called Gettle stretch out through the solar system. It's weird. Everything is stretchy and weird, but good weird. 2. Meat Man Skate 3 The pinnacle of body horror hilarity, Skate 3's Hall of Meat challenges rewards you with a new playable character. Move aside, Meat Boy, this is Meat Man! All meat, no man, as he is quite literally a big slab of meat sat atop a skateboard. To get down to the specifics, he seems to be a beefsteak, and boy, can he skate! If you've ever wanted to see the world through the eyeless flesh of a giant uncooked blob, then you're in luck! Nice and bendy in all the right places, he's the ultimate trick skater you never knew you needed. And if you never noticed, steak is actually an anagram of skate. So maybe he's not quite as random as he seems. Thank you, meat man. May your meat be ever seasoned. 1. A piece of bread. I am bread. Now this one really is the best thing since sliced bread. Or at least it's on the same level as it is sliced bread. That's right, in the aptly titled I Am Bread, you're quite literally a lovely warm slice cut off a freshly baked loaf. And you've got to stay that way if you ever want to reach the Valhalla of bakery goodness, becoming toasted. There's plenty of pedals along the way to diminish your edibility from germy floors and sticky plasters to breakable items and toilet water, all somewhat unavoidable as you fling yourself from surface to surface in the pursuit of toasty freedom. And if that doesn't tickle your proverbial pickle, you can play as a cracker hunting down cheese, a racing bagel, or a particularly smashy baguette. Something for everyone, this one. Any weird and wonderful game protagonists that we have missed? Be sure to let us know in the comments, guys. Like, share, subscribe, all those lovely things that lovely people do. Guys, my name has been Rach. You can follow me on Twitter if you like at Don't Rach Quit. Once again, thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.